Hi guys, I'm Martikor and I made a really odd neighborhood for The Sims 2. I started at the end of April, I think, and now here we are. It's finally finished. I'm so happy. Of course, it didn't take me that much time. I had some breaks and I have to admit there was a lot of building involved. In general, there was just a lot to take care of, even though there are only six families. Obviously, I didn't only make it for myself, so it is up for download, and this video is to present you Planet Alades. I really wanted to have a fully extraterrestrial neighborhood that would only consist of aliens. I couldn't find anything exactly like that, so I made it myself. I can't say it was easy, and there might be some setbacks and some small details that I, that I couldn't really do, and definitely some mistakes. I am very, very sure that there is an unpainted wall somewhere. But anyway, I tried my best to create a world where there are no humans at all. It was especially difficult that I really didn't want to use any custom content as well, even skin tones, I only stuck with what I had in the game, including the debug mode. So thanks to that, the neighborhood is pretty accessible to everyone, there's not really much that you will have to download, but I will talk about that later at the end of this video, so stay until the end of this video because there's at least one very important thing when it comes to that. But I can already tell you that most likely this hood is only compatible with the Ultimate Collection or just a complete game with every expansion pack and stuff pack. Apologies to Mac users, I know, but I was making it in the UC so there's definitely some stuff there that will just make the town not show up in your game if it lacks something. The main idea is that planet Alades is kind of a promised land somewhere in the universe, and people whose home planets were destroyed or in danger could find a safe home on this tiny planet. I tried to make a small social construct of all the sims so that it kind of makes sense, so that everyone contributes. There's the mayor, there's an architect, there's a teacher, doctor, and more. Almost everyone has a significant role. In the six families that I made, there are 21 sims, one servo, and one pet. And since everything is named in a rather original way, I will present you all the families, also saying their names so that you know how to pronounce all of that. Even though I am not even sure, I had to make my own way into getting the English pronunciation of everything. I made a few references to Dragon Ball and then I had a problem with pronunciation myself. Try to find them, by the way. I dare you. I am really sorry to all the people that see real words of their native language in some of the names. A lot of names are just made up, but I did use some languages that just felt the most foreign to me. Sorry to use your mother tongue as an alien language. I'm not very proud of that. I also hope I didn't go too far by making a naturally blind species of aliens. I just felt like it would bring more variety, it, w it would be a bit interesting, even though those sims don't act any differently than sims that see, because come on, it's the sims. But I really hope I didn't do anything stupid in this context. Most sims have some background written in memories, but if you'd like to search for any mysteries, you won't find them really. There's maybe one small thing, but it's more of an easter egg, and you will have to resurrect some people to get to the bottom of it. Just saying. Okay, let's see the families. Zoivi. Two parents, two daughters, and a servo. Since they were the royal family on their home planet, Maloya is the mayor of planet Alades. Yunifu is the architect that designed and built pretty much everything for everyone, he also made the servo named Haduma2137. The teenage daughter's name is Nien, and her younger sister was already born here, so she carries the name after their home planet, Elaganda. Yes, a lot of references to my second version of Pleasant View. You probably saw that if you watched that video. Nykman. This family is the kind of species that you would probably just call plant sims. 
There are some townies and NPCs that are very similar to the Nykmans, and they are all named in reference to their home planet Naike. The Nykman family consists of Clem and Lavin that are married and have two sons that are the same age, but well, technically not twins, because Clem is the father of Addis and Lavin is the father of Dula. Clem takes care of the plants and is very occupied with gardening every day, and Lavin is more of a people person, so he sells the produce, and he's also a bit artistic, so he makes flower bouquets that he also sells. They even own a business in the community area of the planet. It's called the Nykman's Chumcha and Flora. Chumcha means food in Simlish. Also, there's another Simlish word that I adapted, which is Fredische, that technically means everything, I think, but I kind of changed the meaning of this word into street. This was the closest word in Simlish that I could find to use as the word street. So when you click on the families, you can see that there's uh, Naike Fredische, there's uh, Elaganda Fredische, because every single address is made based on the home planet of that family. Just a side note. Let's go back to the families. Ivan. This family is kind of a reptile species, and they come from planet Repta. I guess I went out of creativity when I was thinking of this one, but maybe I just wanted to emphasize what they really are exactly, because you could get confused what kind of creatures those are supposed to be. Anyway, Sei and La are the parents, and Vai is the kid. Very short names in this family. The thing about the Ivans is that they are extremely jealous of their across-the-street neighbors, the Nykmans, because they became really fascinated with plants and really want to have green thumbs, but they just can't get this gardening thing right. And the Nykmans always have perfect harvestables, they make money of it and everything, so there are even some telescopes in the Ivan's house because they keep observing the neighbors to find out their secret, how they do that. It could be pretty funny to force the Ivans to become plant sims. I feel like this could be something very interesting for this family. Just a suggestion. Damaga. You would just call them vampire witches. They came from planet Opsnox to find out that they are actually pretty powerful comparing to other species. But Harfia and Shog mostly use this power to seduce other people and have as many pleasant experiences as they possibly can. Bottom line, they are romance sims. There are four fruits of all this pleasure, which are Laros, Cybus, and toddler twins Neki and Nalena. These sims are actually pretty damn cute. And it's your decision if the younger children will follow the Opsnoxian path, and get all the powers from their parents. Oakum. This is the blind species. They are from planet QWERTY. Again, I wasn't very creative, although their names refer to that idea, so I guess that's cool. And just now they realize there is a way to see the world other than touch, hearing, smell, and taste. They think of it as a very abstract phenomenon and kind of an extra feature that other people have, but they fully accept it. So much that they have some stuff in their house that will only be useful for people with vision. Like windows or lights. They don't even see the light changing, so they only have it because they're very welcoming and friendly. This family has the most friends of all of them. They kind of bring everyone together. Their house was the most challenging for Unifu to design, as it mixes up the Oakum's needs with stuff that their guests will need. He had to kind of think about both of those things. Tiu is a doctor, Ast is a scientist, and little Quay is also named after their home planet, kind of, like a Laganda, and he was also born here. They all love music, especially making it. They are just these kinds of people that really like the company of other people and are very, you know, nice and chill. This is the only family that has a pet. They have a dog that kind of looks like a cat because that was the idea. His name is Poi and he isn't blind, if you're wondering. 
For this family, you will have to imagine a lot of things, because as I said, the Sims act like any other Sim, so their blindness is something that you will have to remember about. And the last one, Rojin. Vatig, a proud warrior from planet Mubik. That planet was completely destroyed due to interplanetary war, and he is the only one that survived, mostly out of luck. He's most likely the only specimen of his kind. He's been through a lot as a warrior, you can even see a little bit of that in his memories, and basically he just wants to be left alone. He's kind of a hermit that lives at the very end of the street. Only sometimes he will spend some quality time with Harfia, and he works in architecture helping Unifu at the construction site, but that's it for socializing. This is the very first sim I created in this neighborhood, and I did that on purpose so that he would be the sim that comes and yells whenever someone uses the telescope dur during the day. So even if, say, Ivan is just peeking on the Nykmans in daylight, Vatig will be the one coming to his house and being very aggressive about it. <laughs> because it just kind of stresses him out that someone would observe him when he just wants some peace and quiet. He's a grump, but I actually like this character very much. Oh, and he's kind of a werewolf. I did make my own townies, and even adoptive children and pets and stray animals, and edited some service sims so that they all fit in the neighborhood. I was really trying hard to change everyone that looked human. The only people I didn't edit are the carpool and bus drivers, the social worker and the unsavory charlatan, because those sims are the ones that you shouldn't even try to edit. It's not very safe. So those few rarely seen characters are the only ones that look rather human. And I was trying to use objects that didn't look very Earth-like, but without custom content, this was one of the difficulties too. As I said with the Oakums, for the whole neighborhood really, you will just have to use your imagination a lot when you play here. Oh, and don't be surprised about not seeing any TVs anywhere. There are computers and stereos and some kind of electronic network like the internet, so, you know, Sims can chat and everything like that. But television was just never a thing. That's my idea. I don't know. Maybe it's stupid. When it comes to all of that technology, I am assuming that the Zoivi family was the most developed when it comes to all the modern, you know, like media and stuff like that. So I think they are the ones that kind of implemented the electronics into the planet. And of course there will still be yellow school buses, Earth-like cars, just some things that you will have to ignore and pretend like this is all in a galaxy far, far away. Planet Alades doesn't have any subhoods. There's no vacation destination, university, or downtown. You can add them if you want. You can do whatever you want once you download it, but I didn't really feel the need for subhoods as this is a very different world. When it comes to time, every family is set to the same moment. You will start on a Tuesday night. At least I hope I didn't screw that up. The climate is rather warm, it's three summers and one spring. I just didn't want to bother with outerwear clothes, because they, all of them look very Earth-like. Maybe a small mistake of mine is that I made The Sims while having my aging mod, so the age bars may look different than default with that number of days left, if you know what I mean. But at least I set everyone's age in a way that the life stage is never longer than the default. Especially it could have happened with adults, because in, in my aging mod the adult stage is a lot longer than default. I even edited adult townies to have 29 days left to birthday. I changed the towns folder into P435. Not only the folder, but also all the files, obviously. So that you don't have a problem with having the same code in your neighborhood folder. I would be very surprised if someone already had exactly the same code. That would be so weird. Since the folder's letter is P, the neighborhood will probably appear at the very end of the list in your game. 
There are some mods that you can download to have a complete experience playing Planet Alades. Some of them will prevent human invasion, meaning human sims spawning, like anyone spawning really, but there's also one custom object and some fixes. I'm including two package files in the neighborhood download, but also you'll find two text files where you can read all about more and less important modifications for proper gameplay. It's kind of like if you want to play in this neighborhood the same way as I would play in it, you might consider getting those mods. In this video I will only talk about the two files I'm including in the folder. First of them is a very important fix. Some sims have the mannequin skin from the debug mode. Problem is that this skin tone isn't linked to babies, so whenever a baby with this skin tries to be born, your game will crash. I've been there. So if you want to play with generations in this town, you will need a mod that fixes it. Because even if you adopt a baby, it's bred from townies, so there's a small chance that this skin will spawn too. So there is a mod that allows you to have babies with the mannequin skin, which is great. I was so relieved when I found this. Honestly, I think it's a better solution than having multiple custom skins that would spawn on townies in a regular neighborhood. This is one small file that you just put in your downloads folder and you can completely forget about it once you've downloaded it. It doesn't affect your other gameplays at all, it's just a small fix. Kind of like the shadow fix, really. The other thing is a sky box that gives the sky a pink color. It's a detail that makes this town look more cosmic. You don't have to put it in your downloads folder, it's not necessary for the neighborhood to work properly. If you don't have it, the skybox will just disappear and the sky will turn into the default blue. But it's not a default replacement, it's a landscaping decoration, so it won't affect any other sky in any other neighborhood if you have it. I will also link and write a few words about mods that were very helpful while creating Planet Alades. Of course I had to use SimPE a lot. Like half of making this neighborhood was just sitting and clicking stuff in SimPE. <laughs> really. And that's it for the presentation of my very strange neighborhood. The best thing about Planet Alades is that I didn't have to make everything make sense. You know? Like, I'm really bad at building, for example, but whatever. If you find a house weird, it's because you don't understand the culture of planet Elaganda, Repta, Opsnox, or wherever the hell the family is from. For those of you who don't know, this is not the first neighborhood that I've ever created, this is the second neighborhood that I've created, because last year I created a Polish neighborhood called Nowe Pobrzeże, which has quite a lot of downloads and some people are playing in it and I am so glad. I made a ton of mistakes in that neighborhood, that was such a learning experience. And for my Polish audience, yes, I am thinking of translating Planet Alades to Polish. Since this is an alien neighborhood, the only thing that I would have to translate is the descriptions and bios of the families, that's pretty much it. All the things that are always problematic in translation can just stay the same. So yeah, translating it won't really be a lot of work, so I might do that. If you decide to add this neighborhood in your game, first of all I will be quite grateful because it didn't seem at first that it would be so much work. It wasn't really like a huge am amount of work, but it was something. It was some work. And second of all, have fun crossbreeding all those species. I can't wait to do that myself and see the results. With that said, I don't know yet if there will be any series on the channel about Planet Alades. I might stream a little to show you things more in detail, especially for those that can't have this neighborhood in their game, and I will definitely play it myself, but I can't promise anything. I hardly have time to upload any videos on this channel, so... As always, thank you very much for watching, subscribe, and subscribe, like the video, and see you in the next one. Bye.